Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been a few months here since I've done an update and uh, just a few pictures here before I get the uh, airplane moved out uh, of the garage. Uh, completed everything that I could do here at home and uh, so it was time to get to moving the hangar. Um, so that's mostly where my time has been spent the last several months getting things uh, put together there. So the next series of videos are basically where I'll be catching you all up on that. So uh, just starting to get things together here and uh, we were doing a little bit of uh, the, the filling of the rivet holes here at home before we were moving. So moving day. Um, we had to delay this about a week because uh, the week before, uh, what's the, that's the, I don't know, the week before the January 20th date, um, the temperature outside was uh, sub 10 degrees or something like that. So even I didn't want to be outside and I couldn't ask a bunch of folks to, to come over. Um, I grew, got together a series of uh, pilot friends of mine uh, that uh, a couple of them uh, want to be sling builders, a couple of them are just neighbors, and uh, then thankfully Aaron, uh, who's got a sling, has done, gone through this exercise twice before, uh, so he was uh, he came up and spent uh, some of the day helping out here. Uh, basically the trick is a 26 foot U-Haul here and uh, you put a crossbar in front of the wheel wells and a, uh, a winch or a come along to help drag the plane up onto the the, the U-Haul itself. And it fits just, just perfectly inside. Um, the wheel base or the width of the wheels fit just between the doors so you don't have to put them on the outside. You can just, or, I'm sorry, you don't have to put them on the inside. You can put them on the outside as they are uh, during final flight. Um, when I built the, the shop at home, I made sure that I had some rolling cabinets and what tool and cap rolling tool cabinets. And, uh, since I had the U-Haul and there was the space, uh, we went ahead and moved them that way. Um, the previous trip we did the wings, so they got out there first and, uh, you know, this is uh, the hangar that I've got at the airport. And of course there's a little bit of ice there. Um, the tricky part on this really is we want to make sure that the uh, COM1 antenna doesn't get hung up on the door on the way out. Um, so you got to put a little bit of uh, force downward uh, to get it underneath there. Because, uh, boy, if you catch that, it's it's a goner. Uh, as far as I could have probably, uh, you know, taken it off uh, during this time, but uh, no big deal getting that under there. And then we also have to come over the wheel wells that the the... Uh, cross braces on. So for that part of the process, um, it's just getting the airplane lifted up and over that. And we use the two by fours in front of and then behind to uh, make it easier to get it up and over that that hump. Um, but it's basically an all hands on deck kind of moment. And we want to make sure that, uh, you know, lots of eyes and lots of helping hands. Um, it was a cold day. Uh, so it wasn't uh, something I mean, you can't pick and choose the day sometimes, but by delaying it a week, we definitely needed to do that. Um, so let's see what else. Uh, the the, the um, ramps there on the left and right hand side are just basic motorcycle ramps uh, to get them up and, uh, you know, lots of padding uh, that we had. When we moved the wings over, uh, all the control surfaces came over at the same time. So just basically laid them down on the floor. Uh, the wings came over on the rack that they were stored on. And then everything else went on the floor just to make sure that, uh, you know, that nothing could fall or, or bump around. Uh, each, each control surface was wrapped in its own uh, blanket to protect it. And uh, right here, we're just basically getting the, uh, the wheels lined up so that they don't catch on the door because it is just wide enough for the, uh, the wheels to fit through at the base there. Um, so it's got to be just perfect. And uh, some tugs, and once you get past this point, then it's all downhill from here, so to speak. Um, yeah, ba basically an extra a person on each hand. And even with that, you know, the, the width of the truck is just wide enough with the ramps. And boy, you want to make sure that that comes down squarely on the ramps because... If it slides off, it's uh, going to be a bad day. Um, so, and then this part here, the the part in the back, is because the uh, the uh, rear portion of the the tail there will strike the ground long before uh, it, the airplane is actually down off the ramp. And so, by putting some foam blocks on there and on a skateboard, uh, it allows that to not drag on the ground as part of that process. 
and uh, because the the nose wheel is high on that, uh, having the extra hands to help guide the wheels down so that they can basically get back in contact with the the ground again. That that's where the extra hands come into play. And then you just let the t the tension out on the uh, the the strap there, and that just wraps around the uh, the main nose gear itself. Once it's down, then it's just a matter of rolling it back into the hanger. Um, honestly, this is the only thing that I had planned for the day because it uh, was, it, I mean, it's a big day. Uh, it's the first time the airplane's actually been out at the airport for me. Um, you know, it's weird being able to pull my vehicle into the garage uh, again after a little over two years of construction. And uh, just some pictures that go along with this. Um, you know, if you haven't seen the hangar, I've got a video, a separate video on just some of the things that I've done to the hangar. I didn't get it all complete before winter set in, but uh, it's nothing that can't wait until after I uh, get the airplane done and I'll come back around. Uh, it, it, it's a great milestone to be able to reach this point, and so we were quite happy. Um, no damage done to anything. Uh, it all went super successful, and uh, you know, lots of pictures and celebration as part of this process. Um, this was actually in January. I'm going to be publishing this here hopefully this weekend. So it's been a couple months since uh, this has been done. And, uh, you know, some of the upcoming videos here are going to be some of the progress. I've sort of slacked off on doing a lot of the videos just simply because uh, the work is so uh, just right in front of me. It's, it's harder to shoot. Um, but once I get these videos out, then I'll do a, a catch up on where we've been. Um, but I appreciate everybody following along. If you have any questions, obviously, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks very much.